Hello, folks. It's me, the old deplorable basket case here. And as you can see, I'm a little less fuzzy with a slightly more cluttered background. And well, I got a bunch of, got a bunch of videos to make today, so here's the first one. Let's get into it. The Man Shot Liberty Valance, or Why You Should Marry Jimmy Stewart and Not John Wayne. So, one of the best westerns of all time is unquestionably The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, starring Jimmy Stewart, John Wayne, and Lee Marvin as the eponymous Liberty Valance. Now, I'll try to avoid spoilers. Um, John Wayne is John Wayne. He's a, he's a rancher in a western town, and uh, he's got a girl. Not married yet. He wants to, he wants to uh, do some stuff before he's married, before he marries her. Jimmy Stewart is a lawyer coming from back east. On his way into town, his uh, his carriage is is still held up by Liberty Valance, who's a very bad man. Um, so things happen. Um, Jimmy Stewart starts to establish himself in town as a lawyer and teacher and uh, dishwasher, and uh, John Wayne's girl starts to be attracted to him. Not because Jimmy Stewart is uh, trying to woo her or anything, but just because Jimmy Stewart is a, is a, is a really good guy in, in, this, in this movie. And John Wayne starts thinking that, that Jimmy Stewart is after her, even though he's really not. Um, so stuff happens, Liberty Valance gets shot, and she goes with Jimmy Stewart. Which is absolutely the right decision to do, to make. Because Jimmy Stewart did not tolerate Liberty Valance. John Wayne did. Jimmy Stewart, even though he's not a gunfighter, really was tried to push the, the, the sheriff to go after him and try to learn how to how to how to fight fight with a gun just in case, so he could stand up to Liberty Valance. Now John Wayne, even though he was widely regarded as being the only guy tougher than Liberty Valance, didn't do anything about it. If, if, if Liberty Valance crossed his path, then he absolutely stood up to him, wouldn't, would not move an inch for him. But even after Liberty Valance sent men to try to kill him, John Wayne tolerated him, didn't go after him. So John Wayne was okay to live in a town with Liberty Valance. He was okay to get married, to have a wife in a town with Liberty Valance, to, to have children in a place with Liberty Valance. Jimmy Stewart was not okay with Liberty Valance under any circumstances. So, if you had the choice, all else being equal, and I realize not all else is equal, but treating the the um, the matter on its own, all else being equal, you would need to be really crazy to pick a guy who would tolerate Liberty Valance over a guy who would not tolerate Liberty Valance. And that is one of the really important parts of proper manhood. What you'll tolerate. Because there are things you should not tolerate, and there are things you should tolerate. Or you should be willing to tolerate, I mean. And it, it, there are, it, it is subjective a little bit, but um, there, are, there are subjectives. In, there are objective things in this world. And tolerating the liberty balances of the world is not okay. And that's all for now. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this, and please comment below with anything you have to say. I'd like to know what you think. And that's all. Have a good night, and God bless.